It's G and Lee with Miss G. Hi, friends. Welcome to It's G and Me. I'm Miss G, and I'm so excited today because we have a new story that was a request on Instagram. I have an Instagram call. It's Miss G and Me. And on that Instagram, your parents, your guardians can message me about what story they want to hear next. Excellent. Also, I have a TikTok called It's G and Me. And on TikTok, you can see previews to the next story. And you can message me or comment me which story you want to hear next. So this particular parent wants to hear the story, bum, 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 where the wild things are. If you've heard of this story, great. If you haven't, that's okay too. If you haven't, what do you think the story's about? Looking at the front cover. Hmm. Well, let's think about the setting of a story. And if we're not sure what the setting is, that's okay. I will remind you. Bum, 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 bum. The setting is where the story takes place. So the setting is could be a forest, could be a beach, it could be a city. It's anywhere the story takes place. So in this story, what do we think is the setting? Well, I see trees and I see grass and I see this thing there. Hmm, what is this thing? It looks like a forest to me, but I can't tell what this is. I see horns, so I think it's an animal. And I see the nose and the claws, but I think it's a cow. The cloud, cows don't usually have claws. And what is that? What are those? Those are feet, human feet. Friends, is there any animal that looks like this in real life? Mm, not really. So this, my friends, is a imaginary creature, maybe even a monster or animal. And this, my friends, is in an imaginary world. So we're going to listen to our friend, this kid in the story, go through in an imaginary world and all the different things that happen to him. Where the Wild Things Are, Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. That means Maurice Sendak is the author, the one who wrote the words, and the illustrator, the one who drew the pictures. Let's get a good look at our friend here. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. What's the word mischief mean? He doesn't look too happy. He, he's hammering something. He's building like a tent. I don't know. And another. So he made mischief of one kind. And another. Now, what do you think is happening here? It looks like he's after the poor dog. Let's look at the dog's face. The dog's face doesn't look too happy. It looks a little worried. He looks like he's having fun. But it doesn't look like he's going to do something nice to the doggy. Mm -mm -mm. Well, mischief means misbehavior or troublemaking. So what is our friend Max doing? Is he making some trouble? Yeah. <gasps> His mother called him wild thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. <gasps> he told his mommy he was going to eat her up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. She said, you're going to eat me? Sure, go to bed. Dun, dun, dun. How do you think he feels about that? <laughs> Not too good. That very night in Max's room of forest grew. Remember what we said the setting was? Forest. And grew. A forest is growing in his room? What? And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world around him. 
Look at that. No more bud. <gasps> wow, where's he going? And an ocean tumbled by the private boat for Max, and he sailed off through the night and day. That says Max. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. Look at that, my friends. Now, again, have we ever seen an animal that looks like this? Mm, not really. How do you think he's feeling looking at his face? Maybe a little scared? And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and roll their terrible eyes and show their terrible claws. So let's check out Max. Oh, he seems annoyed or maybe even upset. And look at them, they're trying to scare him. Oh, these wild things look extra creepy. Till Max said, be still and tame them with his magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. He scared them with a blinking contest, my friends. He just stared and stared and stared and didn't blink. And that scared them. And made him king of the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Look at all of those. If you hear something in the background, my friends, it is a train. But they are all dancing to the music of the rumpus, which I guess is a party, right? Looks like they're having fun at a party. And now they're swinging in the trees. Looks like they were partying all night. Look at all their different kind of feet. And there they go, as Max is king. Whoa, look at all that. Do my friends remember what characters are? Let me help you out. Characters, bum, 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 can be a person, it can be an animal, or it could be a thing. So anything talking in the story, if it was a talking pencil, it would be a character. If it was a talking lion, it'd be a character. And if it's a person, it's a character. So who are the characters in our story so far? Bum, bum, bum. If you are taking some guesses, I am so proud of you. The little boy, whose name is Max, he's a character in our story. The wild things are characters in our story. And there's one other character, but they didn't really show that person. Bum, bum, bum. Can you guys think of it? The doggy's not really a character if you're saying the doggy because he didn't really talk. But the person who told him to go to bed did. Who was that? <gasps> the mom. So we have Max his mommy, and the wild things. They're all characters in our story. Whew, this rumpus is finally done. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. So let's look at his face. 
The word said he was lonely and the picture shows him sad and upset. What do you think's happening, my friends? Why was he all of a sudden not wanting to be there? Well, in the words it said, someone who loved him best of all. I want you thinking, who could that be? Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat and he gave up being king of where the wild things are. The wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible wars, roars <laughs> and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. How do we think he's feeling now looking at his face? Well, he looks happier now that he's leaving, right? They were a little upset that he was leaving. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. Let's look real close. Wow. He seemed happy. And it was still hot. So how did my friend feel at the end of his story, our character Max? He felt happy. How did he feel in the beginning of our story when his mommy sent him to bed? Not so happy. What changed? Well, remember when he was playing at the rumpus with the wild things? He realized I want to be somewhere with someone who loves me, who loved him best of all. His mommy, she even left him food. So she said, I'm sending you to bed without food, but she knew he'd be hungry and she still gave it to him. So <clears throat> maybe he didn't need to cause all that mischief and get his mommy upset. Maybe without the mischief, he could have stayed home and had his supper, right? Well, that's okay. This, my friends, is one of the most wonderful books. It's even gotten a medal because it's so good. If you ever have any requests, make sure that your parents um, are friends with me on Instagram. It's Miss G and me, or you could be friends with me on TikTok. It's G and me. Subscribe below for all the new and wonderful stories. I am so excited you guys were here today. Thank you. Love you. And I'll see you guys again soon.